Happy Friday, YHS. Welcome back to UKIPA CrossFit. So this is the last day that we are together. And I appreciate you letting us uh, come into your world here for a little while and go on this little coronavirus journey. And I hope we've encouraged you. I hope we've helped you a bit with your fitness and, uh, and even mental health. But ultimately, just want to say thank you for letting us, letting us come along and get to uh, help out for a little bit. So, quote of the day, what the caterpillar calls the end of the world, the master calls a butterfly from Richard Bach. And uh, you look at that and you go, butterfly is beautiful, caterpillar is in its own way, but you don't go from being a caterpillar to a butterfly without a bit of pain and a whole lot of change. And a lot of times change itself is pain, but uh, stretch yourself just because you're in a painful time doesn't mean you don't come out beautiful on the other side or better and stronger on the other side. That's, that's what it's all about uh, is, is facing adversity and coming out on the other side. So thanks for, thanks for letting us into your world and uh, we'll get after this workout. Happy Friday, guys. Welcome to your last day of working out with us here at Ukaipa CrossFit. Uh, we're very thankful to have this opportunity to do this with you guys. Uh, we're looking forward to seeing you guys uh, next year. Keep in mind that once all this mess is over, to come get a workout here with us at our gym. Uh, we do have a lot of fun here. Uh, we do have lots of equipment, lots of space. And if you want to continue your fitness journey after this is all over, feel free to come hang out with us, and we'll look forward to seeing you guys. Uh, quick warm-up for Friday. We're going to start with a one-mile jog or walk or run. Uh, there's not a time cap on this, so take as much time as you need on this one mile. Um, again, I always like to start really slow. I'll start with a walk and then eventually work my way into a jog. And then maybe like the last 30 to 45 seconds, I'll turn it up a little bit into a sprint. So that way my heart rate is elevated. I'm breathing heavy at the end. My muscles are loose, relaxed, ready to go for whatever's next. Okay, so after your one mile um, however long that takes you we are then going straight into so right when you get back We're gonna straight into 50 jumping jacks So it's kind of a high number But the jumping jacks do go quick and that's another way to elevate your heart rate So the whole idea of today for the warm-up and the workouts is high heart rate All right, so keep it high keep it going uh, just like that. So quick demo uh, we're going to show you guys what it looks like to run in place with intensity because that's the best thing ever followed by uh, jump jack, jumping jacks. All right, so we're gonna start with running in place. Ready, go. Super fast pace, super serious face. Look at these guys. They're going, that's about a half mile. They need to turn up their intensity. Look at this intensity. It's amazing. Okay, there's your mile. Straight into jumping jacks. Good job, guys. <laughs> Perfect. Look at that technique. If you guys can run a mile that fast, I will personally give each and every person that does that $50. Come find me here at UCAP CrossFit. I'll give you guys $50. Uh, looking forward to see you guys on the workout. Guys, here you go. Last workout. We are going to retest our burpees, and we're also going to retest our air squats. All right? So I know it's not everybody's favorite, but we got to – Go out with a bang, all right? So everybody that is doing this and everyone that has been following this, we want to make sure we PR this week, all right? So we want to do as the best we've ever done on our burpee test and the best we've ever done on our air squat test. So what it's going to look like, it's going to be a two-minute AMRAP. Two minutes, as many burpees as possible. This is meant to be a fast pace. It's meant to be from the get-go, as many as you can, just on fire from the get-go all right max effort pace um, and try to have a number in mind so if you remember what number you got in the past you want to best that number all right so keep that number in mind try to get one more than that or five more or ten more or whatever you can all right so after your two minutes of burpees it's then a two minute rest all right so that is a short recovery two minutes on two minutes off after that recovery it is then going to be a one minute amrap so one minute as fast as you can, super high intensity, air squats. 
All right, so one minute of air squats as fast as you can while doing proper and safe technique. Okay, a lot of people have a tendency to lose their technique when they're trying to go for speed, especially with air squats. That is not safe. So you want to make sure you're practicing good technique. Your hips are back. Uh, you're below parallel at the bottom. You're fully standing up at the top. Your heels are planted on the ground the entire time. If you feel yourself coming forward onto your toes at all, stop where you are and then recreate good technique. So if you feel yourself going bad, stop for a second, maybe shake it out, rest for a little bit, and then start again, focusing on good technique as you go. Um, again, so it's two minutes of burpees, two minute rest, one minute of burpees, I'm sorry, one minute of air squats, one minute, er, and then you're done. All right, so this is it. Uh, this is it for you guys for CrossFit. So for the sake of this demo, it's going to be 20 seconds on, 20 seconds off, and then 20 seconds on, burpees, and then air squats. All right, ready, guys? Ready? Three, two, one, go. So they're doing their burpees at a really high intensity. Keep in mind, guys, you want to be doing the most you can in a short period of time. Yours is going to be two minutes. Ours is going to be 20 seconds. All right, go ahead and rest, guys. Good job. We all PR'd. That was awesome. Everyone here PR'd. So keep in mind, your rest period is going to be two minutes. Two minutes does feel like it goes a lot quicker when you're resting than it does while you're working. Keep that in mind. After your two-minute rest, you are then going into one minute of air squats. We're going to do 20 seconds of air squats for you. All right, guys, ready? Three, two, one, go. So keep in mind, standing tall at the top, reaching the bottom position each rep, trying to go at a fast pace, a high capacity, while practicing good technique. All these guys have really good technique, so try to follow all of these guys if you can. All right, go ahead and rest. Good job, guys. All right, so that's it for working out with us here at Ukiper CrossFit. Thanks so much for participating. Good luck on your finals next week. And keep in mind when things are getting back to normal, uh, we look forward to seeing you. All right, so make sure to come into our gym. We are on Ukiper Boulevard behind John's Philly Steak, if you know where that is. It's almost to 5th Street if you're going up the boulevard. And we're tucked back in that corner, but we have a huge facility, lots of equipment, and lots of just really amazing people in our community and we look forward to seeing you guys soon and enjoy your summer have good luck on your finals and we'll see you guys next year